Welcome back, everyone. Well, we've got a very busy set of forecasts coming out, not just tonight. And we're going to get another round of active weather at the end of the weekend and the start of next week as well. And we're going to get into all of that in just a little bit. We've got a drone shot here this morning. This is coming from Camellia. Not the nicest day out there today. A lot of cloud cover out there. Tropical air mass been sitting on top of us, but we kick that out tonight as a front makes its way through. Let's take a look at the satellite and radar picture here, and you can get a sense of what we've got coming up tonight. This front, while it does get this air mass down here, also going to be bringing in a, a, a round of showers, some thunderstorms out there at times, maybe a couple strong ones. The areas that we need to watch over the next couple of hours are going to be out central and eastern parts of Texas. Gives us kind of an idea of where that axis is and where those thunderstorms are going to materialize some of the some of the model runs over the afternoon kind of dipped it a little bit further south and so compared to this morning we did see the enhanced risk get knocked down to about the highway 190 corridor or some of the neighborhoods involved in this Beopolis Phil Platt uh, Pine Prairie Turkey Creek Mamu in there as well as uh, Washington up in northern parts of St. Landry Parish LeBeau as well now this is not a guarantee that these thunderstorms are going to make it down here in fact I think a lot of them kind of stay north of Alexandria but you're right on the doorstep in North Acadiana, which is why we, we do need to kind of watch out for it. Wind and hail is going to be the primary threat here and maybe the isolated severe weather popping up in Acadiana. You may not even see some rainfall along the I-10 corridor and areas down to the south is kind of how far north a lot of this is going to stay. Winds remain the biggest issue here. You've got the enhanced risk for some, some damaging winds. Hail, not quite as big a threat. And then we're not really getting the deep shear that you would need for tornadoes or flooding either. I, I don't think that that that's going to be a huge issue with these thunderstorms, but it could be some some damaging winds and wind gusts up to about 60 miles an hour. And again, this is primarily going to be for North St. Landry Parish, Evangeline Parish, and Avoyles Parish as well, where we see those thunderstorms start to develop and make their way through. So this is what the model run is going to look like as we go through the afternoon. Like I said, for the next couple of hours, we will want to kind of see what's going on out over in Texas. That will give us an idea how far south some of these uh, thunderstorms are going to dip. As it comes through, this is about... 10, 11 o'clock, notice, once again, you've got the cluster of the strongest storms north of Alexandria, but we're kind of right on the tail end of it, so a little bit could dip into the region. Moves through fairly quickly, and by early tomorrow morning, not really looking at too many issues out there, we could get a couple little stray straggling showers out along the I-10 corridor areas to the south for early tomorrow morning, but by then the severe threat would be over and things would start to, to look a little bit better. Winds are going to start coming in from the north tomorrow tomorrow morning, which will be nice. We finally get that mugginess out of here. We've had sustained winds from the south the last couple of days. It's the reason why we've been so muggy, why dew points have been so high, why it has not been overly nice in the mornings. Clouds will start to return a little bit on Saturday. I think Saturday is actually a fairly nice day. Temperatures will stay down in the lower 80s. Through most of the day, clouds then return on Sunday with scattered showers out there in the afternoon and another round of active weather getting in here for late Sunday and on into Monday. I think Monday's going to be fairly wet. So for tonight, 75 degrees. North Acadiana can see some strong, maybe even some severe thunderstorms. Should not be as oppressive out there tonight. I do not think that the dew points are going to be quite as high. We get that dry air work its way in. For tomorrow, we're going to be in the upper 80s, a little less muggy. Heat index not quite as intense. It's near uh, around 100 throughout the course of the day today. Winds are going to be from the south at about 6 to 12 miles an hour. And we got a quick look at this 10-day forecast here. A little hazy out there tomorrow. There's some wildfires out in Mexico. It's sending some smoke across the Gulf of Mexico. Think about how those winds have been sustained down in the south the last couple of days. So expect some haze tomorrow morning. Showers returning on Mother's Day and then getting fairly wet there through next week.